can be easy to lose sight of the fact that car ownership was originally about freedom, leisure and pleasure. That might all seem like a million miles away when you're stuck in a slog on the way back home from work, but there are cars still seemingly built purely for pleasure. Cars like the Jaguar XKR, the Ford Focus RS and perhaps most obviously the Mazda MX-5. The MX-5 is powered by a choice of 124BHP 1.8 litre or 158BHP 2 litre petrol engines. They're both quite small engines but for a car that weighs as little as the MX-5 does, it works pretty well but you need to stay on top of the revs to get the best out of them. You also need to equip them, I think, with a manual box. The MX-5 is a lot more fun with a stick shifter. Get the MX-5 out onto the open road and it truly excels. It's like a fish to water or a horse to a race course or a particularly fast and agile duck on a duck pond. The Master Roadster is so well built that it feels like it will confidently and predictably corner at any speed, thanks to the grip provided by the rear wheel drive, so the balance of the car is excellent even with the roof down. The ride is quite firm but not uncomfortable and the steering clearly communicates what's going on under the tyres. The classic MX-5 Roadster has a retractable soft top with a simple mechanism. But there's also a hard top called the Roadster Coupe that will add further security, soundproofing and chassis stiffness. There is noticeable, if not excessive, wind and road noise with the roof up in both coupe and soft top. With the roof down, it's understandably a bit more rowdy. In here there's decent room for two people, noticeably larger than previous models, although the MX-5 might become tiresome for six footers after a while. There are storage compartments throughout the cockpit, while the boot has enough space for weekend away luggage or the week shopping. The interior is something of a letdown however, with some rather cheap looking plastic on the console. It's a bit poor for a car costing north of £20,000. My advice is to buy the 1.8 engine with a low specification and add on the bells and whistles that suit you. It's a good looking, great driving car with enough performance for not a lot of cash. 20 grand may seem a lot for a two seater with a relatively small engine, but build qualities and resale values will be very solid. There are barely any inexpensive two seater roadsters still out there, which seems unthinkable given how much fun and how desirable these brilliant little cars are, especially with car buyers downsizing. That makes us all the more grateful that Mazda still make the MX-5. It's possibly the most fun you can have in a car with your clothes on or off or the roof up or down.